ahead in here. Good afternoon, y'all. I am down here on the Florida Gulf Coast, and I'm gonna show y'all a simple, easy, and free way to load up on what I think is the best seafood there is. In my opinion, there is no fish or anything else that swims around that tastes better than these blue crabs. If you like what you see, you should consider subscribing. It's free, it's just one click, and it really helps me out a lot. Thank y'all so much. Y'all check this out, how to get as much free delicious meat as you could possibly eat. And there's only two requirements for a blue crab to be legal, and I'll show you them both right now. The first, they have to be five inches from horn to horn, and when they're talking about horns, they mean this part and this part. What they are is the farthest extensions of the actual body shell. They're these two points behind the claws. That is that is a horn to horn right there. And as you can see, this one, it's about average, maybe on the little small side of what I was able to scoop up this morning. He was right at six inches horn to horn. Here, let me get that line back up. So he's actually over six inches horn to horn. Looks like there's the zero. Yeah, about six and a half inches horn to horn. Now the only other requirement is if it's a female, it has to not be egg laden. The way you can tell if they have eggs or not is this part right here will be huge and it'll have either a bunch of uh, orange, just a big orange mass all around it, or it'll have a big black mass all around it. But as long as this part right here is pretty much flat and in line with the body and there's not a bunch of eggs, you are good to go. We're gonna try to scoop up a bunch just using the dip net. No eggs. All right, y'all, there's a million blue crabs out, so we just caught almost a limit of pops. Hey, got five keeper popping there this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah, almost limited. Yeah, we got five of them, so <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing so many of these, about to just scoop them all up. Look at that one. a little small we'll see these are little ones just too small that one yeah yeah he He's like all, yeah, he's better that second one. That's what we want. Yeah. I knew there was gonna be more and more the closer I got to this. <laughs> Looking for them bigger ones. How about you? That's tiny. Oh, wow. Here. Well, we're filling up the net. They don't climb out the net for some reason, so we're just going to fill up the net until we can't use it and then go dump it. This cut right here, where the lagoon's coming out, that's what they're like in this dirty water. It lets me get closer to them before they see me. Usually they see you coming, they'll dodge you. See, there's one right there. He's just too small. He's coming right at me though. <laughs> that one looks pretty good. Let's see if he'll stay there. He looks good. Because he is. All right. There's another good one. And good enough one. Yeah, oh, we are filling up this net with blue crabs. They are out and moving right now. It's a tide change, is why. <laughs> Look at that, that little one's eating a piece of plastic <laughs> or toothpaste. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> oh, the little one was eating a toothpaste too. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. He looks pretty good. Nice. Yeah, nah, he's good. <laughs> Loading up on these blue crabs. There's another. Yeah. 
we'll see when we get them back. Whew. Problem is they'll bury themselves right here. I hate stepping on them. <laughs> I need to go dump this. This is getting too heavy. <laughs> Honestly, I, I like eating these more than I like eating any fish. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I like fishing more, but this is this is my favorite sea meat. All right, I'm gonna go dump these. <laughs> I noticed the biggest ones I caught were in the edge of the surf on that dirt. All right, I just dumped the first net. It's probably eight to twelve, somewhere in that range. I didn't I didn't count really. I just made sure they were all big enough. Now it's gonna get a little harder. We went and got all the super easy ones. Actually, looks like there's a good one right there. Oh, we missed him. Damn. First swing and a miss so far. I've been doing better than that. That's one is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that got me too. Now it looks like a good one. Yeah. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. There's a little one right here. There's there's a decent one. Uh, he's still too little. more. I'm gonna keep looking there. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, there's another decent one. Come on. Stay there. Where'd he go? I just saw him. There he is. I think I got him. Yeah. Man, loading up this net. <laughs> yep. There we go. There's one. He's, he's too small. He looks too small. He probably is if he looks to that one, doesn't they? Oh, hang on. One of those has eggs. You have to put it back. Little. They do little. No, oh, pregnant thing. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. It's got eggs. I want you to keep your eggs. Thank you. No eggs. Good. Good one. If it's not egg laden. No eggs. This is something. Good. Getting back in this one. We just picked them out of that one spot. <laughs> Oh, that is. Yep. <laughs> Scooping them up. It's nice. It's like once I find a hole of them, there's a bunch of them. Right. Man, those look good. Damn, they're fast though. <laughs> <laughs> He's too little. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. They like y'all, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Problem is, a lot of them are too small. There we go. It was good. Oh, it got out. Getting too heavy again. Gotta check that point. <laughs> Lots of crabs. <laughs> yeah. They pinch you though. <laughs> they pinch. All right, y'all. It's as easy as that. We just came out and scooped up a bunch. Probably got 20 to 30. Good amount to eat. <laughs> Had to throw back any of the ones with eggs on them that were under five inches from the horn. But that's a good mess right there. We're gonna go eat them. Yeah. Still got two more in the cooler. I could not fit them all in the pot, but yeah, that is a the entire <laughs> pot full of big old blue crabs. One of my favorite things to eat, and it was that easy. Y'all saw how we got them. We just walked out there in the tide change and scooped them right up. All right, y'all, I'm back in the house. I've got my boil a rolling. And crab or shrimp boils are very simple. Uh, you can buy them pre-mixed at pretty much any store down here on the Gulf Coast, but uh, I, I actually <laughs> forgot to this time, so I'm making do, because you can make do pretty easy too. I just took some Old Bay seasoning, because I always have that on hand. Great for fish in general, but any saltwater meat. But I just took some Old Bay seasoning, a bunch of salt, and a few lemons, and I cut them up in there, and I got my boil rolling good now. So now that it's rolling good, <laughs> we've got all our crabs in here, y'all. I've got as many as I could fit in here, and we've got them still alive, which is what you want. Uh, you want them to be alive when you boil them. If they're dead for any amount of time before you boil them, they're, uh, they're not very good, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I got fit as many as I could in there, and then I've got a few more in this one. But we went through and checked every one. The smallest one was over five inches from horn to horn. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna do these a few at a time. First things first, you get your boil rolling hot. You want that thing is about as hot as it can be going. All right, I just put our first batch of about eight to 10. I think I got nine in there, uh, but it should be able to get nine or 10 at a time in here with the amount of water I have. And just depending on how uh, how much water you're using and how many crabs you're doing at the same time, uh, it can take anywhere from eight to almost even 20 minutes if you're doing a bunch. So um, once it's rolling, you just throw them all in there one at a time. You don't want that splashing around. You should probably start checking around the eight to 10 minute mark. What you want to see is when they're like orange and floating, not just a little red and still down on the bottom. You want them to be orange and floating. So these ones are getting close. So we're going to check. I bet a couple of the smaller ones in this batch are already done. Yeah, see how they're orange and floating on top? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, they're probably about done. So we can get them just a little longer, a minute or two. Whew. All right, y'all, first batch just came out. They got nice and orange and were floating, so I knew they were done. I'm gonna get the next batch in there. Delicious, my favorite saltwater, honestly, fish at all. So, yep, batch number two in, and this is a bigger batch. I'm gonna give it probably 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna start checking sometime after 10, just to be sure I'm not overcooking them and they're not already ready. But, I would imagine this bigger batch, about 10 to 12, pretty full pot, probably gonna take more like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll check in with y'all then. Oh yeah, y'all. Second batch is coming out now. Oh, they're coming out. They're looking so nice, orange. That's how you know they're done when they're, they're bright, light, red or orange and they're floating. Like see how this one's floating on top? That's how you know. Oh, that was a bigger one. Alright, that's the second batch out. I'm gonna get that third one in there. And y'all, I'm not gonna do it on camera because I'm pretty sure that might be against time of service. But all you do is pick them up with your tongs and put them in there. <laughs> third and final batch just went in. We got the first two waiting and everything. Alright, y'all, final batch just came out. I mean, we loaded up that tray. Amazing. My absolute favorite, I say my favorite fish or seafood, whatever you want to call it, my favorite sea meat there is. I like this more than like any fish. And not overstate how much I love this fish and how easy it is to get around here. You just wait until the tides change and go out with your net and man, scoop them up. And remember, all you got to check is that horn to horn, they're more than five inches, and that underneath, they ain't got no eggs in there. <laughs>